And there's only a tiny weather window! That's all in the mind! This whole landscape is just wild! As soon as I hit the ground, yeah. they're cutting me loose. Good luck, there! I'm keeping this rope. In this sort of terrain, it could be vital. OK, get this rope stowed and then get moving. Try and get some blood back into my legs. Oh. Tough button. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, I'm really getting into the forest proper here. It's a pretty extraordinary place to be. OK, let's keep moving. The forests of the Carpathian Mountains support a huge amount of wildlife, including wolves and lynx. But what I'm more worried about are the bears. This means there's definitely bears in the wood. This is the sort of poo they do, big pile all in one. And you can actually see here what they've been eating. Little bits, the remains of fruit and apple and yeah got very fast for digestion so it's gone basically pretty well straight through them you know all you need to do give it a bit of a rinse with some water and yeah it's not going to get it's not going to be 100 100 100 percent but if you had nothing else a bit of a rinse down and that basically is going to be okay to eat Pretty sharp, a bit like somebody's got your apple core and smeared it in a dog poop. <laughs> that could save your life. Okay, it means we need to keep an eye out here. There are definitely bears, other bears in this wood. In bear country, when you eat, leave as little trace as possible. Scavenge on your way, or eat food well away from where you camp. Look, this just sort of survival food that's good. A little snail, well, actually not, not so little. But yeah, this is good, because you can pick loads of them. They're small, gonna give you a good bit of energy and protein. And it's often much better going for things like this than just a big game. That's gonna waste a lot of energy and it's going to be much harder to catch. It's good just to be eating. Always on the move whenever you can. Let's get this guy out of here. Looks like eating a giant, sticky, slimy bogey that leaves a very gooey trail down your throat. for you you've just got to you got to back away slowly we can't take any chance of these guys get on the wrong end of that you know then kill one swipe i'm in the ancient forests of transylvania the place is crawling with brown bears night is falling and i have to make camp fast that's tinder fungus now there's stuff growing on the side and this is great for starting fires it'll grow on the side of beech trees and birch trees when you get a good bit of dead wood like this, it's going to be even better. It means this is drier. So we're going to keep this. When making camp, you must establish your greatest threat. It's quite a nice ledge here. And this actually wouldn't be a bad place for a shelter. Got a nice platform to sleep on. I've got good security behind you, fam. Building a fire is my next line of defence. And once alight, you'll want to keep it going all night. And it's just this middle bit of the tinder fungus that I want to get to. Soft, it's fibrous, I get some shavings of that. And then hopefully put a spark into it 
and make it a, an ember. And there you go, look, you can see, it's already work itself into an ember. And then get this grass, tip it in, bundle it up and blow. And there you go, you got fire. And that's exactly what people have been doing in these forests for literally thousands of years, using this tinder fungus to give them fire. I've done everything I can to keep bears away from my camp. But when it comes to wild animals, you can't afford to take anything for granted. Prepare for the worst and hope it never happens. I'm just glad to be able to see daylight again and to fight another day. I'm gonna employ one of the oldest ways of catching fish known to man. And he said, just get your hands, keep your fingers on the floor, come in from wide, get, oh, but keep calm, just slowly press them against the wall and then pull them out. Come in, come in. There's one right under this. Okay, I've got his tummy, I feel it. OK, I've got him. Don't get out of my hand. There we go. And he's not a whopper, but he will do in his food. Straight out the stream, you can eat him. Ooh, fresh, like this. Just take his head off. And then get the guts out. And if there's going to be parasites, that's where most of those will be. Give it a rinse. And then really, the rest of that is good to eat. Chewy, sushi and delicious. And I'm going to need all the energy I can get for the challenges ahead. <laughs> the landscape is a minefield of hidden ravines and sudden drops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. There's quite a major, major drop off here. And that's looking pretty sheer. And what's difficult is a lot of it's overhanging. Can't quite see how far that is. Hang on, let's throw this and count the seconds. One. Three, almost three seconds. I generally work in about one second for 50 foot. So that is well over 100 foot. I'm going to rappel over the edge, but I'm doubtful whether my rope's long enough to actually reach the bottom. And a good way of measuring length of rope is you do fingertip to fingertip generally about the height you are. So for me, it's about six foot six. So this so far is working good. And look, this bit looks quite promising, actually. Let's get down. Oh. Hang on, hang on. Don't come any lower. The rappel line is just too short. Let's see if I'll make... What's that looking like? Let's see if we make it across to that. I'm locked off on the rope. To my right, the crew is harnessed in on a narrow ledge 20 foot above me. Wrong branch to grab. OK, we're getting it this time. Here we go. Well, that's interesting. But I've got a grip. I need to get off this, off this rope now. I don't like doing this, but sometimes there's no choice. Come on. I feel my legs shaking. That means it's closer than I normally like. Okay, but I'm on a good little ledge here. 
and it looks like over this way and get off. I've lost my rope, but it's a small price to pay. I've made it now into the lower reaches of the mountain. You can hear running water. and in the throat with your thumb. It's a learn how to walk away.